everyone, Will again here and today we are going to be talking about the new baler so as you probably saw from the clip before we have actually purchased a new baler Dad's just been out of it for the first time just unfortunately my drone was broke so I'm going to go out tomorrow and record him tomorrow baling but we're going to talk a little bit before that about the new baler and why we went for this option so what we've gone for Dad is the new Holland 870 plus isn't it? That's right yeah. So what chamber size is that? 80 be 70 centimeters so that basically means they're the bales that horsey people like isn't yeah it? and they you can move them by hand as well yeah is there any additional extras that we chose to go for on top of a regular baler that you'd say that we've chosen directly because it's haylage uh the main one was the electronic bale length to keep them all exactly the same length yeah so basically we're trying to produce a uniform product so it's really important that when we say we're producing a four foot bale it's a four foot bale or a five yeah, foot yeah. bale or five foot bale because customers aren't happy when you rock it with a four foot and it's three foot ten that's right so are we just going to say a little look round so dad just bailed about 100 bales to give it a first go what did you think of it it's gone well yeah, yeah they look really good bales and a lot more consistent than what we using last year so we're following the chrome baler last year but just from the hundred this seems fairly fairly good so one of the options we also went for was the single axle rather than the twin axle basically because we won't be doing a lot of road work with it will we? we won't be doing a lot of road work won't be buying a lot of straw so we're on smooth conditions yeah not rough conditions so that's the main reason you go for single because obviously in um, straw fields there's a lot of ruts isn't there so basically it can be a lot of very deep ruts yeah, yeah so basically we don't want to tip the baler over but obviously that doesn't affect us because we're on the haylage game not the straw so just looking around the baler um so for people that don't know what they're on about dad where are the most important bits so the strings under there isn't it string stored each side how do you open that up can you so we couldn't figure it the other day, could we? It's just under there. So if anyone's not seen under a big bale before, this is where the string is that goes around the bales. Um, just standard string base, isn't it, for big bales? Yeah. Um, two strings are fed from one side and two from the other. And it's obviously a four-stringer bale and not a six-string, isn't it? It is, yeah. Yeah, so the new Hollands, are they all four-string or some six? They do some six-stringers. Yeah, yeah. So it's just the options we went for basically for the market that we produce it for. Everyone has their preferences. Dad really thought highly the new Holland Balers because, well, why, what's your reasoning but why I like the new Holland really? Consistent bale. Makes a nice consistent size bale. And as long as you've got something that drives it, it drives at a consistent speed and don't try and race it round, you get good bales, don't you? Yeah. That's the main thing. So. Walking around, this is obviously the chamber the bale comes out of. Um, this is are these hydraulics to drop it down. Yeah, it's hydraulics based. open the back gate, then hydraulic pressure. So that's these little levers here. But um, this is actually before I say anything else. This is the first big bale we've ever had. You've never had one before. Well, it's the first one since I've been on the farm. Have you? Yeah, had one? Years ago, we had a D800 for a season. 
So what's that it, in the equivalent? What brand's that? That was a New Holland D800. Okay. Um, that did a 50 centimetre high bale, but we found it very difficult to wrap and yeah, make yeah. a consistent job. I actually never knew we had a big bale before. So how long ago is that? 15 years? Uh, 25 years ago. Oh, so before I was born. So that's why I won't remember it. So under here, this space, I guess, in the same as your side with the string. Yeah, exactly the same. Feeds the string for this side of the baler. So base looks the same. Is there a reason we went for this string with it just because that's what? It's just a pallet of string we bought to try. Yeah. And the white rolls are what came with the baler to try. Fair enough, fair enough. Um, then going around to the front, this is um, where the grass is fed in. So basically it runs under there, doesn't it? Yeah. And the tines pick it up. Can you see that? I'm no expert on machinery and then in there there's actually a chopper in this isn't it? Or a there, is, there is a there is a chop it is a wool chop bales, yeah. yeah. So we don't actually chop the haylage do we? No. If it comes to like um what would you chop? People do have grass chop for feeding in forage boxes and things. Fair enough. I I'm no expert guys, so just looking around the bale and then obviously PTO driven. So this is what it looks like on the front. This is the PTO, um, this is the pressure gauge, isn't it? Yeah, that gives you the um, individual pressure of the bale, so you keep it in a certain zone for certain types of products. So, I didn't know that actually. So, straw, you, obviously, yeah, you pump straw is a higher pressure than haylage. Silage, haylage, straw. Oh, well, that's something new. So, under here. Under there is basically the flywheel. Yeah, so. I've driven a little baler, so I kind of understand, but I don't understand at the same time. The big difference between a big baler and a little baler is, if you look under there, yeah. So under here, there's a pre-chamber okay. that fills the pre-chamber to a certain pressure and then packs it. Fair enough. So basically, it has one in it before it goes. It makes a wad full and then pushes it into the bale. So in a little baler, it does it as it goes. Yeah. I didn't know that either. This one, but yeah, it's, you're really happy with it. Um, and this is—is is this X demo? No, it's not X demo. It's, it's, it, it was a a baler that was used at New Holland as a show in the entrance hall in the yeah to the offices. So it's never actually baled a bale, but it's a, a year, a year it's old. A 2019. Yeah, it's a, basically yeah, a good deal on it. <laughs> oh, it looks really smart to be fair, but. We used to follow a New Holland round, didn't we? It used yeah. to have a New Holland, that used to go fairly well. But yeah, that's about it, guys. Um, that's the new baler. Thank you for chatting to us, Dad. I um, managed to get Dad on YouTube, so that took some persuading, but he knows a lot more about the baler than I do. And he's been with the mechanic all afternoon with it, so it's all set up. Tomorrow, we're actually going to have a proper down the hail. It was like a warm up. We've got a couple of new people working for us, so Ed and Scott, so I'm sure you'll see them on the channel. Um, I'm gonna cut this now to tomorrow and we're gonna get some drone shots and some cool shots of the baler so you can guys can see it working. Cheers guys, I'll see you tomorrow.
guys, so that is us done for today. Um, the bale has just been dropped off because Dad has gone mowing. We've got loads of grass that needs to go down while the weather's good. I've been wrapping today. We've done about 200 bales. Got on really well. This is throwing some real good bales out, so really happy with it. I've seen the drone shots going really well. Um, had a chat with Dad to this video, so really happy. Really hope you enjoyed it today, guys, and you found it informative about the new bale that we've bought. I'm sure there'll be plenty of videos in the future with it. Um, plenty of videos to come in the future. Um, really special surprise coming soon. Might even be a Sunday video, so keep watching for that. And if you did enjoy it today, guys, please give the video a massive like. If you want to see more stuff like this, just smash that subscribe button. And don't forget, videos every Wednesday and Saturday at half seven in the morning. Cheers, guys.